there are new European guidelines uh, produced by the European Society for Pediatric Gastroenterology, Hepatology and Nutrition, which came out last year, suggesting that perhaps not all children need to have a biopsy to diagnose celiac disease. Uh, indeed, the new guidelines suggest that for children who are symptomatic and who also have an anti-TTG antibody level greater than 10 times normal for that particular assay, and also positive endometrial antibodies and our HLA DQ2 or DQ8 positive. For, if you fulfill those four criteria, then perhaps a biopsy is not necessary and the diagnosis can be made on the basis of serology. However, that does account for probably about only a, a minority of children uh, in the UK and certainly our experience in Cardiff is less than 15% of children may manage without a biopsy. Uh, but the majority of children will still need a biopsy for diagnosis. The British Society of Pediatric Gastroenterology, Hepatology and Nutrition have endorsed in the main those European guidelines and we have just published as a working group uh, guidelines which are very similar to the European guidelines which hopefully will come into operation in the UK.